sponsored by McCams, getting you back on two wheels when it wasn't your fault. This, well this is an Indian FTR 1200. What it's not is a bike just for potter into the shops and the cafes on. What it is, is a bike derived from Indian's flat track racing bike that since 2016 has been dominating the American flat track series. Sure, it's comfortable, you can get coffee on it. But what it really wants to do is go fast and go sideways. <laughs> so we made it back to the farm, the FTR 1200, what a bike. It's almost sad now that it's got to go back to service at cafes and coffee shops and, and hipster in its way around London. It's, it's such a waste. This thing is incredible. It has put such a smile on my face. Everything I thought I knew about the American V-Twins, I had to forget. You know, I was expecting lazy, low revving, cruisy bike with no real urgency to the throttle. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not super exciting. This engine is nothing like that. It is one of the most responsive and one of the most instant power deliveries of a bike I think I've ever ridden. But it does it in a way that's usable and predictable. It's not a peaky bike that suddenly spins up and snaps out your hands. It's a bike that the minute you crack the gas, it wants to go. And if there's not grip, it goes sideways. This FTR 1200, as I said to start with, it was based on Indian's FTR 750 flat track race. That was a bit of a milestone bike in itself. They took that to the flat track, the American flat track series, and they took it to Harley, who've been, it's been their series for decades now. Indian built themselves a bike, turned up and smoked them, um, and continued to do so for some time. This FTR 1200 is trying to sort of take styling cues and draw off the experience of that 750, which always sounds like a very non-committal thing from a manufacturer. It usually means they want you to think it's the race bike and it's nothing like it. Actually, with this thing, it feels really good. It feels like it could be a race bike. Clearly the engine's different, clearly the chassis is different, but the way it rides, the way it responds every time you hit the gas, it feels like it is a race bike. It's so much fun. I don't think I've ridden a bike that wants to drift as much as this one in ever. Every time you open the throttle on a wet road, the back's coming round, it's sliding, 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 really predictable, and you just get addicted to it every turn. Then on the gravel roads, it's even better in your third, fourth, fifth gear, power slide, power slide. It's such an addictive feeling, and it, it just put a huge smile on my face from the minute we rolled out of the door into the cold drizzle this morning until the last fourth gear power slide back up the road to my house. This bike is a riot, and that's what I like about it because the styling is cool, the riding position is comfortable, you can cruise it. You can sit there, low revs, doff, doff, doff your way along in a check shirt and jeans, and it's the perfect bike for the job. But then when your crazy switch goes, you can ping the clutch and drift and slide it and smoke the tires everywhere, and it doesn't get grumpy or bored. It, it loves it. I spent a lot of time today questioning why this thing is so easy and fun to slide. Clearly it's a little bit what they've learned from the, the flat track bike, the race bike, but. I think what makes it so good is wide bars, long, low, and that engine. And that combination with the low, long chassis and that punchy engine, instead of it wanting to wheelie or sit up, it just wants to slide. And that makes it really predictable, it turns you into an idiot in a different way. Supermotos want to wheelie, this thing wants to drift. Spec-wise, this one is the FTR 1200S, which is 12.8. The base model's 11.8. This one's got fully adjustable forks, fully adjustable shock, sack shock, a ZF fork, Brembo brakes, Brembo master cylinder, snazzy pro taper bars, and actually quite a trick touchscreen LCD display. That's a really nice touch, and it works. A lot of time with a touchscreen, if we can remember rubbish early touchscreen phones that didn't ever do what you asked them to, this one works, and it worked in the rain, and it worked with gloves on. So a big win there, and it just makes navigating the menus that little bit easier. You get Traction control, rider modes. The traction control's proper lean sensitive traction control as well. It's, it's a, a high quality unit. And you get the three selectable rider modes and you get a track mode, which is where you can turn the ABS off and the traction control off and go crazy, which is brilliant. 
So as you've probably guessed by now, this isn't a full sensible grown-up bike review. We're not going to sit here and tell you how good the mirrors are or whether the foot pegs are comfortable. What we're interested in is hitting these bikes on the trails, on the small roads and enjoying them. This thing is designed to put smiles on faces and it does that really well. Now you might think we just took this bike to a big gravel forest and did skids all day. And we did, yeah. And it was really good fun and it, it proved a lot about the bike. It proved how tractable that engine was, how forgiving the chassis was, and how good it was at doing skids. I don't know how relevant that is, but it was a lot of fun. We did do some road riding on the bike too. Again, we had wet roads, rainy days, so it wasn't the sort of time when I'm gonna be trying to get the foot pegs down or, or seeing what the limit of the chassis was. What I did find was it put the same smile on the roads as it did on the gravel. You can still slide it, you can still drift it out of bends on wet tarmac roads, which is brilliant. It means that your rainy day ride isn't boring. Your rainy day ride is just as much fun as your sunny day ride. And that, for me, is a win. I'm gonna put my hand on my heart and say, that's my favorite bike I've ridden this year. That's a huge, huge claim, but it really is. It puts cruising, fun, skids, and speed all into one package that I think looks really cool. And at the end of the day, Let's face it, I am now obsessed with flat track, so I was always going to love the FTR 1200. So lots of manufacturers have their own little, their little tagline, their MotoGP derived, whatever it is. Indians is quite cool, it's from the dirt to the road. So they're talking about taking their dirt heritage and their dirt race bikes and making them go on the street, which is fine. So we took their street bike and took it back to the dirt where it belongs. <laughs> Sponsored by McCann's, getting you back on two wheels when it wasn't your fault.